Common question type we'll get is the ordering of fractions, okay? And so typically with these, what we will see is um, fractions that are given to us in a couple of formats often. So this one, we've got a couple of, a couple of common fractions and we've got one mixed number. Um, often you'll end up with mixed, uh, a, a mixture of um, uh, denominators. So the key here for any of these types of questions, uh, whether you're given improper fractions, whether you're given negative numbers, um, and even if you're given decimals, to be honest, is to change them all to the same thing so that you can do the comparison, okay? So what we're looking for here between two, three, four, and five is a common denominator, okay? Now, two goes into four, okay? So it means that if we find the common denominator for four, we don't have to worry about the two. So we're looking for a common denominator for three and five and four, okay? Now, um, four fives are 20, okay? But three doesn't go to 20, so it actually, we can go, uh, and three fives are 15, so we can go, uh, four fives are 20, so then we think multiples of 20, 40, 60 becomes the answer, okay? So we're looking for all of these over, 60. Okay? So it's times 30 to get to 60, so it's times 30 here, so it becomes 30. Here, times 20. Okay? So it becomes times 20 here. Um, here, it'll be times uh, 12, so times 12 here, gives you 24. And here, it's times 15, so times 15 here gives 45. So if we get the, the one. Now you can do your comparison, okay? So now you can see that the smallest one out of this group is this one here, okay? Um, followed by this one here, followed by there, by there. Now, when you go to write your answer for this though, you need to use the original fractions. So it'll typically ask you to list them either in ascending order, okay? Which means from smallest to largest, or descending order from largest to smallest, okay? So let's do ascending. So let's assume that the question is asking us for ascending which is um, smallest to largest. Okay, and so we would go, the smallest is here, so it's one third. The next smallest is this one here, which is two fifths, followed by here, which is one half, and then followed by one and three quarters. So we always use those original fractions um, in order to record our, our answer to that question.